In this video, I'm gonna have a chat to you about if you've come out of lockdown and you wanna get back into your fitness routine, this is an amazing chance to actually relook at your schedule and relook at your fitness plan. <laughs> Philippe, I'm a personal trainer, and if you're new here, I do free weekly tutorials on everything to do with fitness and health, and specifically dive into things a bit deeper uh, to help you answer the questions that you may have thought about or you're not sure about. So in today's session, I want to speak about how to rejig your routine. Um, this is a quick video, but I've had quite a lot of questions on what should I do, how do I come out of lockdown if you've been not exercising. But well, the simple answer is, don't worry about it. Go straight back in to what you were doing. Or the big thing is, is this time to rejig your routines or your plans? Use this opportunity as a break to cut things loose that you didn't actually like doing. If you had a routine in the gym you didn't like, ditch it now, redo it. If you had, a, um, if you had an exercise in the gym that just wasn't suiting you, ditch it and redo it. This is the time, once you've had a break, redo your schedule and it's basically like a refresher. It's like giving yourself the opportunity to start afresh, giving yourself the opportunity to think, right, I'm not liking that class. I'm not liking that fitness routine. I don't like that gym. Use it to start over again. Now, when I say start over again, you don't probably have to start back to the beginning like a, a, you know, a beginner exerciser, but if something is making you feel bored in the gym. If you're doing 10 minutes on a cross trainer, 10 minutes on a bike, and you're just thinking, I'm getting nowhere, I've plateaued, I'm fed up, go online, look up a new routine, probably look like a HIT routine, high intensity interval training, and do that. Get away from steady state cardio. If you've been doing it for a long time, just ditch it and try doing shorter workouts but high intensity. It's a high intensity interval training. You may do up to a, a minute, to two minutes where you work really hard and you recover maybe for 30 seconds. I'm not gonna to go too much into what it is, but if you're not sure, look it up. High intensity interval training. It's a great way, it's a nice solid way, and it's a nice generalized way that most people can add into their workout. If not, just do that. I mean, shorter workouts may be the way to go. If you've been doing workouts in the gym for an hour, they're not effective. You need to do shorter workouts, especially cardio hit training, shorter workouts, effective get in get out if you're bored of your strength training now's the time to rejig it i've i've rejigged all my strength training i've rejigged where i do it i do a lot of home workouts now i've got some dumbbells um, and i do it at home and that that's working for me uh my my cardio sessions i'm doing um like hit training at home only maybe half an hour sessions where i'm doing 30 seconds sprinting on the spot 30 seconds recovery 30 seconds star jumps 30 seconds recovery all that sort of stuff that's the stuff you want to aim to if you've been exercising for a while and you've plateaued ditch all the gym equipment ditch cross trains and rowers this is for beginners you need to get out free body exercises push yourself high intensity interval training okay you know basically get out of this video you need to refresh what you're doing use the opportunity to relook at your schedule relook at your times we look at everything you're doing and I guarantee you it'll be like a fresh start. You'll be motivated again, straight back into it. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Plenty more videos to come. Live life to the fullest, focus on the positive and get working out today.